and welcome to Stream Speaks and in this requested video I'm going to share with you my experiences of my very first year at uni. I'm going to try and be as open and as honest as I can be and maybe for those of you who have done pharmacy or have been to uni or are currently in uni you'll be able to relate to this video. For those of you who are maybe thinking about going into pharmacy or going to uni in general hopefully this video will share a bit of light um, on what you can expect I guess. Now everyone has their own unique first year and honestly my first year of uni was one of the best years of my life. It was eye-opening I think is the best way to describe it. Just an absolutely eye-opening experience. I'd never lived out before so this was the first time that I was living out and it was the first time when I really had to fend for myself as well so learning how to do little things like being able to cook for example and and of course if I was at home I'd probably have to learn how to do those things anyway but being on my own I definitely had to learn how to do those things so I'm very grateful that uni gave me that chance and that opportunity to do those things. Don't get me wrong I am by no means a Gordon Ramsay top style chef but at least I can cook to survive. So yeah I feel like uni gave me those opportunities to do that and I made some lifelong friends who I'm still so close to now and uh, again I'm very grateful for uni for giving me that that experience and those friendships and in terms of work like I said I'll be very honest with you didn't really go to many lectures didn't really study that much and the advice I generally give to people for their first year of uni is to just enjoy it, to just chill out because it is a year like no other. This probably isn't advice that your parents, carers, guardians want me to give you but in all honesty, let's be real for a second, you just need to get 40% to pass first year, you just need the bare minimum and it's such a unique year because you know when you're at school you're always trying to achieve the highest always trying to achieve the best and I'd say even for like second third fourth if you have a fifth year even then you're trying to do your absolute best first year is kind of the only year where you can get away with not actually having to don't get me wrong do enough to get through the year but just chill just chill because I feel like when you're well, especially for myself when I was at sixth form year 13 I thought I knew myself, I thought I was a grown up. It's only then when I got to uni I realised, wow, I don't know how to do a lot of stuff and how dependent I am upon my parents. And even now, however many years later, trust me, I do not feel like a grown up at all. So I don't know why I would have felt like I was a grown up when I was 18 years old. Um, and I feel like my first year of uni, that's what it taught me, that actually I've got so much growing up to do. And that's, I don't say that in a bad way, I say that in a good way because, like I said, that year gave me that opportunity to grow up, to learn things, to fend for myself, um, exposed me to different kinds of people as well. You know, with your first year, you don't get to choose who your flatmates are, so actually you're forced into a situation where you are amongst people who might not be people that you would talk to usually or meet with usually on a day-to-day -day basis but I was very fortunate that I was able to live out and that allowed me to then meet so many different kinds of people, speak to different kinds of people and I loved it. I would say you know if I went back to first year maybe the one thing I would have changed was actually try to join more societies because again it gives you such um, an ex an opportunity to again meet different people, learn a new skill and I feel like it's only when you come outside of uni do you realise how little time that you have. Whereas when you're at uni, if I did go to join more societies, I would have had more time to learn different types of skills. And where else am I going to learn how to, you know, pick a lock? We had a lock picking society. Not that I particularly want to pick a lock, but you know, it's where else would I learn something like that? That's what I mean, like you have all these different really out there quirky societies and I think just embrace it, make the most of it, go for it and like I said you'll be able to meet all these different types of people who you probably wouldn't meet on a nor normal basis so it's kind of a good way to meet different people I think and broaden your horizons I guess and yeah I mean throughout my whole uni experience I did live out the whole time um, 
I'd come back every single weekend though, or at least most weekends I would come back. Um, but yeah, my first year, yeah, I didn't really do very much work. I mean, I'm very much one of those people that is a keen bean and I know my long-term memory is better than my short-term memory. So when it comes to exams, when it comes to coursework, I have to start ages beforehand and prep and organize and practice way beforehand. Like I'm talking months beforehand. Um, Whereas in my first year, it was probably one of the first times where I really crammed and I've never really had, like, never really crammed before. Um, but I feel like it's a year where you can get away with doing that. And especially with my uni and the way that it had structured its first year of pharmacy, <coughs> it was very um, similar to what I had already learned at uni. It was more just an extension of that or it was more of that in depth. And, and a bit more depth really so it's stuff like human physiology for example or organic chemistry so I kind of already knew the fundamentals of it it was just growing upon that a bit more or just reiterating some of the principles to do with that which kind of made it then a lot easier a year it was when I got on second year that I was like no right this year actually counts so didn't go out as much went to most of my lectures I say most of because let's be honest Still didn't go to them all. Some of them were really boring, okay? And some of them started like nine in the morning and then you're just tired and you can't be able to go in. But I would catch up on it or at least I would borrow someone else's notes and, you know, make my notes then. Um, and I think, you know, that was one really good thing about my year group. My year group was so good with helping each other out. We had our own Facebook page just for our year group where we'd put resources on there. We would help each other out with any questions that anyone had. Um, any help someone knew that they could just type a question on there and someone would help them it was it was a really good year that I had um I'm very lucky that I had that kind of year group because I know with other year groups they wouldn't help each other out as much so as the years went on I did turn up to my lectures a lot more by fourth year I went to every single one of them um but first year yeah I would only really go to compulsory stuff or workshops or if I knew it was a topic that I really struggled with which as you can imagine, for me, with calculations, nothing's changed there. And yeah, so I would turn up to those ones and, you know, the compulsory ones that you kind of have to turn up to. But just, you know, enjoy the year, make the most of the year, make the most of your opportunities and just get to know and talk to so many different people. Don't just stay restringent in that one friendship group that you make initially on. I think it's such a good idea to branch out and get speaking to other people, be part of different groups, not just one group. Um, and yeah, like I said, I can't, I can't stress it out enough and I know I repeated it so many times, but make the most of your opportunities. And I think that's the best advice I can give, not just the first year, but for all your years, make the most of the opportunities that you have in front of you. And yeah, like I said, for me, first year was undoubtedly the best year. Um, I met the best people and had, or some of the best people, um, had the most amazing memories, which will last forever. And yeah, it was a really, really, really special year. And a year like no other. And I know I will never be able to have a year like that again, because you don't really have many responsibilities, you don't really have to, or at least I don't have any responsibilities. Um, and I think when you start working, you take for granted how many opportunities there were to just nap while you were at uni. And I really miss that. I'm always so tired now, as I'm sure many other people are. But at uni, you could just nap anytime, whenever you wanted. It was great. Um, so yeah, I would say, Make the most of your opportunities and make the most of your first year. But then when it gets second year, concentrate, work hard. The game changes from there on. I feel like I got it all out of my system in terms of all the going, like I went out a lot. So in terms of like going out and everything, I feel like I got that out of my system in first year. So when second year came, I didn't go out as much and um, really stayed focused. Like I said, I tried to go to more, more of my lectures, just be on top of things a bit more and go back into my routine of starting projects and coursework early on instead of leaving it last minute because first you taught me that I'm really not good at cramming, can't do it. So second year, the game changed for me, got switched back on, on it. And yeah, that was it really. So like I said, probably not the advice that people want me to give you but like I said I'm gonna be honest with you enjoy your first year 
make the most of it and have fun. And then when it gets second year, concentrate and focus and work hard. But up until that, just enjoy it. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, why not give it a like? Share, subscribe, do visit my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter page in the comment section. For those of you that have been to uni, let me know how your first um, year was, what your experiences were. I know I'm so, so lucky and I'm grateful for and appreciative of how lucky I am um, for my first year, for the people I met, for the experiences I had, um, for the opportunity to live out. Um, and I know not everyone did manage to have as fulfilled and as fun a first year as I had. Um, but please do share your experiences and any advice that you may give to others who are either thinking about going uni or thinking about going into pharmacy. I think probably for most universities, I'd imagine first year is very much an extension of what you do learn at, say, sixth form or college um, in terms of chemistry and biology. Um, calculations, maybe not so much. But in chemistry and biology, it is very much an extension of that. And like I said, I presume that would be the case for most universities anyway. So yeah, hopefully, like I said, if you found this video useful and yeah, comment below with your own experiences um, and share what you also learned and then any pieces, hints, tips or advice you can also give. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy rising.